Welcome to Fall Damage, my sexy listeners. This is Nick. We are bringing you Oblivion from our living room. At with me, as always, is Dan the Man Dubuque, Casey what motherfucking are they Caps. You about my goddamn last name, you dirty bitch. <laughs> and I'm Chris. <laughs> You're never getting to the intro again. Nick really wanted to do the intro today. So if you haven't figured it out, we're playing Oblivion today. Uh, should... That is to say Elder Scrolls for Oblivion, not Turok 3, Shadows of Oblivion. <laughs> no, then we would say Shadows of Oblivion. Well, yeah, but back in that day, like people actually called that game Oblivion when it first came out. Yeah, well, so. and when this game came out and everybody forgot that it existed. Well, they shouldn't have. It's an alright game. <laughs> it's an alright game. <laughs> <laughs> See, I think games should have a little bit more to their credit than alright. Captain right. Picard's talking. Yep. John Oops, Luke. I connected my controller. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. I all right, all that right. bastard. We all have seen the intro to Oblivion, so we're going to be... Uh, whoa, whoa. Which, which race. race should I be, male or female? <laughs> uh, uh, we could be a female, that would be kind of funny. But nah, I ain't doing that. I want to get paid 30% more to play this game. <laughs> <laughs> That's not to say I think that's right, ladies. It's just to say that's how it is. Alright. Alright, let us let me just... Uh, I'm going to do quick, because I don't want to make all of our uh, listeners and watchers it's, it's, go through It's all like this. 90% of it's in the hairstyle. Yeah. And we're going to be... Uh, when you wear a oh, helmet... this is what I want to do. Yeah, random it. Not that. <laughs> that was not so that. similar not to that. what you looked like. Not that. Not Am that. I racist for thinking all these orcs look the same? <laughs> yes. Yes, you are. <laughs> uh, I, I liked that... Uh, like muddy looking guy, like that, yeah. No, I don't like the mud. I don't like mud guy. We're we're mud clean orcs. But he can be like the the piper of the mud crabs and like lead the revolution. That one ain't bad. Yeah. Well, let me yeah, let me change his tone. Give to him a beard. Vibrant. All right, turn this one up. Everyone out there knows this. I think that Oblivion is probably my favorite Elder Scrolls game, or at least the one I played the most. Of. By everyone. All nine of you who have watched us argue this during Final Fantasy. By the way, thank you. When I get into it, Morrowind can beat Oblivion, but uh, it's a bigger commitment to start that game than like the later in the you series. Get a pen and paper out, because you gotta take all shitload of notes. Oh, and there's no voice acting, so it's very like text heavy, but it's still a great game. So that would be okay. up our alley. Well, yeah. Now I just gotta change up the her. The her. Got gun done get my her did. I like the headband, but that's me. I like the top knot so far. Yeah, it kinda looks like Goro. Yeah. Or uh the the one after top knot is this or one? not that one, the next one. Yeah, that one's pretty uh -huh. cool too. Uh I'm gonna go with this one, because yeah, I've never go. done it. <laughs> and uh, you know. Just like lemon drops. I know somebody who like made those and made them actually look like fucking like nails in the yeah. head. Who? That's my friend. He's not important. You, you just have, made up a story. Yeah. You don't I have that. It Pixar didn't, didn't happen. You know, Nick, this is my one of these days. Pixar. I'm gonna snap and then snap Casey's neck. No, you're not. I gotta turn the length all the way up. <laughs> <laughs> it looks it's like they're like growing, growing. Little mushrooms on your head. <laughs> Blue. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. You honestly like look like you could be a female orc, like. Uh, on really face alone, it's really hard to tell. Uh, and that's done. What's the uh, oh the orc female knight who like is really crass and lay yeah, in Sir yeah. um, uh, something. She was pretty cool. Yeah, I did like her. We uh, did decide on this name beforehand because Nick was looking on top of our fridge. <laughs> I contend it was divine inspiration. <laughs> oh, I don't. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Oh, there, yeah. there you go. Oh, uh, uh, no, you need uno mas. No! <laughs> Casey, stop telling me what to do! You're messing everything up! Are you going with, like, an Arabic name, like Alberis? <laughs> I was going to, but everyone knows right. Oh, ah! Take out a space, or, uh... Yeah, do the Arabic-sounding one, the uh, Alberis. Oops, Alberis. <laughs> no, 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 like, uh, like a Wheel of Time name, like Al Berries. Like Randall Thor, Randall Berries. Yeah, nah, I got it. Oopsal. <laughs> Oopsal, Oopsal berries. berries. <laughs> it works. We're trudging on. 
<laughs> That's why I did his hair like that. They kind of look like the berries. They do. Ah. Oops, little berries. Somebody just like walks up here and picks one off. That's it. All right. Yo, go talk to the. Yeah, I know. I gotta talk to the chump. You're looking pretty good for a dead man. Uh, no subtitles. Oh, that's uh, a good point. Uh, it should be under video, I think. No, <laughs> that's just brightness. Subtitles. Uh, General um, subtitles is what you want. Uh, and then uh, anything you overhear will... And this next line of dialogue will pop up. Yeah. At least you've got that brutal strength. You're aware on. that, like, even though we have the sound turned down, like, they can hear the voice yeah. actors, right, Nick? No, they can't. And there's a subtitle, so... Let me out! Let me out! If you're watching this video, comment if you like my sexy voice. If you're watching this video, thanks. <laughs> thanks, Ma! All four of you. Hey, guy, this is what you're gonna look like if you don't be quiet, stop mocking me. An upside-down skull. <laughs> Dirty dumb. Perhaps in hindsight, leading the Emperor through, like, the prison wasn't a smart idea. Well, there's not supposed to be anyone in this cell. They say yeah. that. You want this skull? I'll give you this skull if you let me out. It's a nice Are skull. Are you sneaking right now? No. <coughs> now they're gonna tell me to get all out of their business. Okay, they won't hesitate to kill me if I get in their way. Stay out of their way, man. I can't move now. This is basically a cutscene. <clears throat> so, uh, did you guys play Skyrim, like, when it first came out, like, yes. really early in its release? Because I did. Pre yeah, I pre-ordered yeah. and all that. I pre-ordered it and took the next three days off of work. Nice. Uh, it took me about a year after it came out before I played it. Okay. Yeah, I, um, got real into the the Bethesda forums during, uh, <laughs> New Vegas, and I stuck around for Skyrim. Okay. And uh, I even suggested something that they didn't use, uh, dual-wielding shields. Uh, I really like that idea. I've always liked you, that idea. They mocked me and said that that was, like, the tur turtle strategy. Yeah. But it would have worked. There is this character in the Dragonlance Chronicles. I forget her name. And if you're watching this and you know it, let me know in the comments. Um... She is terrible with a sword. Like, they try and try to teach her how to, like, fucking do sword play. <laughs> and she just does, doesn't understand. But she racks up the kills by just bashing her enemies <laughs> to death with her shield. Well, that's why, like, it, even in Skyrim, in, like, the, the little bard song, uh, Ragnar the Red, they talk about the shield maiden Matilda, and I always like to think that she just dual-wielded shields. <laughs> you realize shield maiden is just, like, a fucking, like, term, right? Well, yeah, I, I know, but I just... That's how I like to think of it, Nick. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just so you guys know, uh, I'm the one playing this one. Oh, yeah, yeah, we uh, got Dan doing stuff. See, Dan likes doing stuff, but we never let him do stuff. Get out of here, fiend! So we thought oh, we'd, we'd yeah, let him do this I'm gonna stuff. Oh, yeah, I'm take all your stuff, Captain Reno. Now, uh, something that may uh, require intervention from the rest of us, who knows how much of this game we're actually going to be playing, but... Uh, Dan is notoriously, like, uh, ADD when it comes to Bethesda games, as far as getting into the open world and then just forgetting there's like, no proof that, that there's danger. <laughs> I once spend him, like, watched him spend, like, 20 minutes tracking down a single NPC who, like, looked at him funny. <laughs> you didn't. I did. Um, there's that one point in this game, I think. It might be Mike the Liar. I could be wrong. But you walk out of a town, and some Khajiit runs up to you, says something to you, then turns around and sprints away. Like, I reloaded that save so many times to try and catch that fucker. Yeah, he's in uh, all the games. Look at me. <laughs> oh, man. Oops, all berries looking fancy as shit. <laughs> so, uh, the, uh, the uh, first time I played this, when I got out of uh, the dungeon, I was just walking down the road, and I found a horse just hanging out on the road. And uh, I walked up to him, and there was an icon that said, Ride Horse. <laughs> and I was like, hot shit! Because uh, in Morrowind, I don't think you could get no, a horse. There were, there were yeah. The horses, yeah, yeah, you couldn't get a horse. So I was like, hot shit, and I hopped on that horse, and I rode away, right? I stole that horse from a guard. <laughs> <laughs> I did a bastard! <laughs> and I, uh, like... 
I like made it to like another town and got like a stop right there, criminal scum. And I'm like, what is doing? Oh, uh, the same thing happened. I uh, went to the encampment outside of Kavach. I went into like one of the tents and there were a bunch of like great swords. And I was like, hot shit, a free great sword. And I took it. <laughs>